see that. Okay. Got a, these little capacitors put in these 104s and 100 nanophytes. Uh, I know this isn't very good for you to see this, but yeah. I'm still not going to because I've still got to put my hand there. I can pick up something else on this thing, not just that awful noise. Okay, things are touching to. And I speak with the speaker, it doesn't sound too bad, though, does it? I suppose that's where the money's gone. Okay, look. Yeah, see why that bloody displays on. I mean, is that trying to tell us it's cheap? I thought it was supposed to be AM and FM. I mean, that chip's supposed to be AM and FM. You can't twiddle these, they don't do anything. And it doesn't, like I say, this one goes down no matter what you do. This up, down, left, right, press it, no matter what you do, that goes down on the count. And this one goes up no matter what you, no matter what you do. Up, down, left, right, push down, it goes up. Look. And then this one goes down. But I, I, there's no way to switch it from AM to FM. And I don't know the how for that this would be passable. Oh. There's a station there, nearly. Uh, somebody left a comment in the comments about building a transmitter. And I've already built a little one, uh, but it doesn't work very well, so I was gonna try and rebuild it again. Not, not try, actually rebuild it again. And have this pick it up, but to be honest with you, this isn't going to do it. That's the best we're getting, I think. I'll get in trouble for that now, won't I? God, I don't want to do it, I don't want to have that on there. Getting told you're ripping off somebody's track. I'm not, I just can't get them off the radio. There we go. Not really my cup of tea, but... So you can pick up some stations, if you have a different antenna. Uh, and... It doesn't sound particularly too bad like that. I mean, but retuning is a it's just hard to hear anything underneath that. To know there's no like auto track or. Okay guys, so I've decided that there's no real point continuing with this. You can see in the instructions even, 
time instructions, destructions. We've got a voltage, working voltage range. This thing only goes up to five volts, uh, five and a half volts. So the LM386 um, is gonna be running at pretty much you know, the lowest area it can as it starts at uh, four volts. We got a DC pedestal power supply, positive and negative. Do not connect the opposite. I've got no idea what I mean by that. FM range, 87 megahertz, 108 megahertz, good. Frequency modulation, step press, step 0, 1 megahertz, or 100 kilohertz. Long press frequency modulation key can be added or subtracted continuously. Okay. Functions. Digital display frequency function, power off memory function, power saving function, power off memory function, after power off, power on again, playing the radio before power off. Introduce the power saving function, after each power on or pressing the FM key, didn't know there was an FM key. The display frequency of the digital tube is five seconds, and after five seconds, the tube, the digital tube display will automatically shut down. There are two reasons for this design. Hmm? One is power saving. The other is noise interference when the digital tube display is turned off. So for my understanding of English, I would say there's interference when the tube display is turned off. But as we can see, there's interference when the digital tube display is on. When the digital tube display is turned off, the sound is more beautiful. <laughs> uh, the speaker is set is <laughs> the, the speaker for the set meal is too what eight so two what eight eight ohms euro and the sound quality is quite good all right that's it i'm not going to go into uh, there's just no point so there you go this is what you get um it's a complete fail as far as i'm concerned <laughs> and uh buy it your own your own peril i'll catch you in the next one cheers guys bye